Today in our 2013 Hyundai Accent, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number C11250. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is four inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 10 and a half inches. This will assist you selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. Now we'll go ahead with the installation. Now to begin our install, we'll first remove the rubber plugs from the frame rails, one on each side. We'll go ahead and set the plugs aside as they will not be reinstalled. Noting that these will be two of the four attachment points. The third attachment point will be the tow hook and our fourth attachment point will be on the driver's side frame rail forward of the frame from the previous attachment point and this attachment point will have to be drilled out. To locate the position of this attachment point, we'll need to put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you use the hitch as a template to mark this position. With the attachment point marked, we'll go ahead and take the hitch back down and out and drill out our hole. To drill out the hole, we're gonna use a step bit process starting with a smaller pilot bit and working our way up to the final size as per the instructions. Now with our hole drilled out, we're ready to start installing the hardware. We'll start with the forward attachment point on the driver's side. Taking our one and a quarter inch 7 16 carriage bolt block and 7 16 pull wire, we'll take the pull wire and feed it through the attachment point and out the rear attachment point, which will also be the access hole. There we'll slide on the block and thread on the carriage bolt. We'll feed the block into the frame first, followed by the carriage bolt, and pull them into position through the forward attachment hole we just drilled out. Now we'll go ahead and remove the bolt leader. Next, we'll install the rear attachment point for the driver's side. To do this, we'll use a reverse pull method. Once again, we'll use the one and a quarter inch 7 16 carriage bolt and block. We'll feed the block onto the bolt leader first and then thread on the carriage bolt. We'll take the carriage bolt, feed it into the frame first through the attachment point, followed by the block. Then we'll pull them back over the access hole, creating our attachment point. We'll leave the bolt leader on as it will assist with help in getting our hitch up into position without pushing our hardware back up into the frame. Now we'll move over to the passenger side and repeat the same process for our attachment point in the frame there. For the passenger side, we'll use the one and a half inch 7 16 carriage bolt block and 7 16 flange nut. We'll use the reverse pull method to get our hardware into the frame. Now with all the frame hardware in place, we're ready to put our hitch in position. Take the bolt leader and feed it through the attachment point for each side. We'll go ahead and install the flange nut on the forward attachment point. Now we're ready to install the hardware for our tow hook. We'll use the 3 8 bolt, flat washer, block, and flange nut. We'll take the flat washer and put it onto the bolt, followed by the block. We'll feed the bolt through the tow hook and through the attachment point of the hitch and screw the bolt into the flange nut to secure it. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. Once we have our hitch secured and torque the specifications, we're ready to hit the road. That does it for the install of our Kurt Hitch part number C11250 on our 2013 Hyundai Accent.